Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing well. As you must have seen from the title, I'm going to show how I achieved this look. I'll do all the steps, what products I used. So stay tuned. By the way, this is how I styled my hair when I attended Diljeet's concert in Vancouver. So many of you ladies have requested me on my Instagram and on my vlogging channel to show that how I curl my hair. So guys, stay tuned. This video is for you. Let me tell you a secret. I've used hair extension to achieve this look. Let me show you how my hair looks without hair extension. So this is how my hair naturally looks without any hair extension. I generally do not use hair extensions on everyday basis, but whenever I'm going for a wedding or a party and I want a fuller look, then I would add extension. It just gives nice volume to my hair. My hair are very fine as you can see. So to give volume, hair extension is lovely alternative. It just gives very nice fuller look. As you can see with no hair extensions, this is how my hair looks from the back. So I'm gonna show you how I achieve voluminous hair by using hair extensions. I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, Irresistible Me. They have sent me this hair extension that I will be showing you today. I'm also gonna add the link for Irresistible Me hair extension that I used in this video. You should definitely check out their website. So Irresistible Me gives you color match guarantees. This cute little package opens from the bottom and it has the sample hair and you can match it whether it's gonna go with your natural hair or not. Matches perfectly. Like I was super shocked. I used another hair extension. It doesn't match my this color. So I was like, oh, I gotta find a new one now. I don't know if I'll be able to find the exact match, but I was so surprised. This was the exact match of my hair color. So these are 20 inch light brown hair extensions super easy to use. So this was just the sample that I tried and I made sure, okay, this is matching. And then I opened the original package. So let's see. Comes with this nice little pouch, super easy to travel with. So all the eight pieces comes with different sizes, like the width is different. So let's see, this one has like four clip-ins, quite wide. Second one has like two pieces. And the best one that I use the most is this thick one comes with four clips. I generally use this one and then I would just add, I guess, just two, three more. So four pieces is enough for my hair because they are 100% natural human hair and they're super easy to use. You can style it with your hot tools as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna add these clip-in hair extension to my natural hair. I'm gonna show you how I will style it and achieve a voluminous hair look. So I'll be using my curling wand to style my hair today. And this one is 1.5 inch barrel. You can use any curling wand that you have. You can get it from Amazon. So what you can generally do is you can either curl your hair extension separately, or you can add your hair extension first and then curl your extensions plus your natural hair together. I would generally add my hair extensions first and then style it because that way it will look really natural and would just blend in with my natural hair very nicely. So guys, I've straightened my hair with a hair straightener. I usually straighten it because my hair is super frizzy after the shower. So I would just blow dry it and then straighten it and then do the curls. <laughs> I'll be using this comb to do the partition of my hair. So I'm gonna take all the hair at the back and I'll be doing the center partition. So I'll be adding the first piece right above my ear. I'll be doing the partition like this. Take this clip and then I'm gonna take the same teasing brush. This is like a teasing brush. I'll take a little section at the bottom and then do a little bit of back combing. I'll take this big piece, open the clips, add it right on top of the partition where I did the back combing. Close the clips. I'm gonna make sure it's secured with my hair and it's fully secured. Check out the length. It's exactly how my natural hair are, like 20 inch, perfect length. So now I would do the partition like one inch above my ear, right here. It doesn't have to be a perfect straight partition. Take my own hair and then do a little bit of back combing. 
now what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I don't put all the pieces in my hair because I don't need it. I just need a little bit of volume and then, and that big piece is enough for my uh, entire hair. It gives really nice volume. But I'm gonna add two more pieces. So how I add those two pieces, add this one clip on the other one. You can add hairspray as well to secure it more. Looks nice. I think I'm just gonna push it a little down. I'm gonna make sure my extension doesn't show up. Yeah, looks pretty nice. See already, it has so much of volume, guys. And I've just added three pieces, that's it. I can add more clip-ins like below my ear. I can do the partition right here and add another extension piece here. And I can also add it here, do the partition with my own finger. I would do the partition. And then add the small clip. I'll take the teasing brush. Add this one right here. See this side has like more volume and then I can add it here too. But I generally do not use a lot. So I'm gonna take this out. That's it. So I only added three pieces. That's enough for my hair. But you can add more depending on your need. If you have like less volume, you can add more. If you want more fuller look, you can add more clip-ins on top here as well. But I just add like three, four, that's enough for me. Okay, so now let's start with the curling part. So what I generally do is I would part my hair equally on both the sides. And I would do the left side first and then the right side first. You can choose either one. And I would start curling my hair from the bottom. So I'm gonna take a little section. My wand is hot enough. Take the wand upside down behind your hair and then wrap your hair strand around the wand. Just loosen your hair. You can secure it with a clip, but generally I want, I like loose curls, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. Move this back, take another section, secure it with the clip. Wrap your hair strand. You don't have to wrap around your ends to the curling wand, because I generally like to see the ends straight. Right now they're like tight, but I'm gonna open it at the end. Repeat this by taking few section of your hair. This is the easiest way for me. I've seen people uh, making proper sections and then curling it, but I would just randomly pick it from the bottom and then just curl it. Repeat your steps. You'll see how nicely they get styled. Good. Last section of this side. All right, so one side is done, guys. So now let's do the other side. I'm gonna repeat the steps for the rest of my hair and let's do fast forward. Okay guys, so I've curled both the section of my hair. As you can see, they are a little tight right now. I can just open these tight curls with my fingers. You can see how they go away from my face. So this is the way you do. You have to take the wand behind your hair and then wrap around. Don't put the barrel in front of your hair. Then your hair would be like inwards. You have to do away from your face. I like it away from my face. This is how I generally do. I'll show you how it looks from the back. Okay. As you can see, all curled, and you can't even see the extension. So the extension gives such a nice volume to my hair. I have quite a bit at the back, at the front, and if I put everything at the front, see how it looks. So nice. I'm gonna give a little bit of volume to my hair right 
at the top. So what I'm gonna do is take a teasing comb, take a little bit of section from the top, separate it, and then do the back combing. And I'm gonna add a little bit of hairspray. I'm using Mark Anthony Argan Oil hairspray. Let me show you from the back again. All done. So this is how I do my curls, guys. When I want to achieve like voluminous look, I would add hair extension. It doesn't take too long and looks so pretty. I love these hair extension because they are like such a true match. Like you can't even tell that I've added hair extension unless you touch my head. Comment down below if you like this video. Thank you so, so, so much for loving this channel, for giving me so much love. You have been so patient with me. Uh, whenever I put video, you guys give so much love to me. Thank you so much. I love you all. Guys, do comment down below and let me know what more videos you would like to see on my channel. And you can also follow me on Instagram and on my vlogging channel as well, Pianchu and Kira. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.